We'd like to thank our favorite mobile RPG, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring today's video. The creators of this game always find a way to keep it interesting and fresh, for us to keep wanting to come back and play it. For example, right now there's a special event happening called the Deliana Chase, where newbie and veteran players can acquire an awesome new champion called Deliana from the High Elves faction. She's a powerful character who can prove useful to many players in the challenges to come, so you might want to get your hands on her, which won't be at all difficult. All you have to do is sign up and play Raid for 7 days from now until the 28th of July, and she's all yours, free of charge. And if you're new to Raid, you can use the code MYDELIANA to get her up to level 50 right off the bat. Of course, we still have access to all of the old champions, such as my favorite Tetra Rhymehide, that lovely beast. But Raid's forte has always been conceiving new champions with a peculiar set of powers and abilities that make for more interesting gameplay by mixing things up a bit. I for one have taken a liking to Koronar, an imposing monster that can give a lot of other characters a beatdown they can't even imagine. On top of that, Raid's running a huge series of summer splash events for the whole month, where you can acquire some awesome skins for everybody's favorite dwarf Trunda Guilt Mallet. Download Raid using my link or QR code right now and receive a free starter pack worth almost 30 bucks. Hey there, fellows! Right, so today, as per usual, we'll be trying something that's a bit nutty. I noticed the video where I poured boiling water onto this windshield was quite a hit. That's when the glass in the front and the rear stayed perfectly intact. Now, I promised then that we'll take it up a notch, and here I am with this Dura flask that contains liquid nitrogen. The temperature is something like minus 200 degrees. And yeah, I'm sure you see where this is going. I'm gonna take this flask and pour... Honestly, I wanted to climb onto the roof with the flask, but since we do have snow and ice, I was actually happy about the ice. I thought my shoes would have traction. But in fact, it is very slippery up there. Wouldn't want to fall down together with this damn keg. So instead, I'll pour it into this bowl and pour it from the bowl onto the windshield. The temperature is the same as last time. Minus 21 degrees Celsius. And if the glass doesn't shatter from the rapid freezing, which at this point I don't even doubt, because these cars never cease to amaze. A buddy of mine actually asked me whether I've ever seen a Lotta with a thermal crack and come to think of it. He's right, I haven't. Hopefully this will be a first. Anyway, we're gonna freeze the windshield, and if nothing happens and it stays intact, then we'll go get the kettle which we're already heating. I had enough talk, let's do this. Okay, we're ready, though there really wasn't a lot to prepare even. I'm gonna take this bowl, which I use to drain oil and other fluids that get the garage floor absolutely filthy. Oh, that's nice. It's boiling. Feeling good. We are gonna do the windshield well. Okay. I shouldn't pour in too much. Let's do this. Let's see if... Oh, my fingers are sticking to the bowl. Okay, to nobody's surprise, the glass is simply... Oh wow, I can hear a crunching noise. Is that the rubber seal? Or the paint? The wipers, I'm sure, are enjoying it. I have a feeling the engine bay is gonna freeze over more handily than the screen. Let me try from here. There is a lot of crunching going on, but it doesn't want to shatter. We got nothing. This is going well. These noises 
are unsettling. Did it even freeze? Oh, look, the paint is all... It looks like all of that pleasure tore it off. I'm not satisfied. Let's add some more. We might not even have enough to pour in. All right, let's keep going. There's even some steam coming from the windshield. It must have gotten really cold. Careful. Watch your pants. Look at it freezing. The windshield seal has fallen apart. Well, that is where all of the liquid is going. Well, there you are. As you can see, we have utterly obliterated the paint, but the glass is still intact. That said, we do have a trick up our sleeve. Time to whip out the boiling water and pour it onto the windshield while it's still cold. Man, this glass is unreal. This glass, man, holy cow. Doesn't give a damn. Okay, I'll prepare some more boiling water for us to heat this up and we'll try reversing this. As in pouring nitrogen onto a hot windshield. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, we're shifting course. We've boiled some water. Now I just have to pour some nitrogen into the bowl. Why into a bowl? I've read recommendations from certain specialists. The thing is, we need to... The point is, we're doing this the other way around. Pouring freezing nitrogen onto a hot windshield. Let's see where it goes. And here we go. Before the water is able to cool down. It's crackling again. Let's get you nice and warm. 100 degrees should be more than adequate. Unlike the nitrogen, this doesn't drip down as fast. Alright, let's get to it. Nice. Nice. Tremendous. I love it. It's all hissy and crunchy. Did it crack anywhere? Oh, look at this. We did it. So indeed, this was a much better strategy. There's the crack. We have done what we set out to do. Which was to get a lot of windshield to crack. And it goes all the way to here. Or that's where it started to form. And it disseminated. Nice. Fantastic. Success. But it's only the outer layer. Eh, whatever. We'll take what we can get. Well, guys, even on a lot of, we were able to get a thermal crack going. With the help of extreme high and low temperatures, boiling water and liquid nitrogen. The glass eventually gave up, though it is quite durable. Now, while we still have this flask, the next experiment is going to involve more fun with nitrogen. 
which I alluded to in that video. And that's all we got for you. Watch us, subscribe to stay in the loop, suggestions, comment, catch you later.